Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation of Auditor of Music. This is a very important presentation for councils and also consultants. Let's say you're a consultant and you have created this here treatment train. This treatment train is to be presented to a council. What you would do, you would export the MSF as shown. Exporting the MSF allows you to create a a model to auditor, whatever file, a file, an MSF file. Now you've exported that file and now you go to stormupdated.com.au, have your email address and put in auditor. You will go to the address of your audit, of your project, whatever that address is, and you, tr you will audit your music model. Very simply, whatever MSF you have exported, model to audit, you drag and drop it into the window on your browser, and then you just say audit my MSF model. There will be, if, if there's any errors, there will be errors detected just like here, and you can change those nodes. Uh, you can email my auditor report right now as we press now, and this will be the report for your original model without any modifications or improvements. And now you can change your source nodes um, in accordance with the guidelines. So that's car park, that would be a road. Roof to drain, that would be a roof. Roof to drain, that would also be a roof. Uh, what is that? Driveway, that would be a car park or a road, sorry, a road. Um, bio retention is not following standard. In this particular location, council does not accept bio, so you can have a tree pit or a roof garden. And uh, also council accepts a number of um, Treatment tra treatments um, or treatment devices that are manufactured. You do all that and you say make my music model compliant and immediately model 19 will be saved. In my case is model 19. Uh, obviously you can run that with your correct meteorological template. You go again and say audit my music model and that's the model that just has been saved and, modif and um, modified to be compliant. You audit that, no errors. That'll be a great model, right? So, um, and then you email that report as well. So what have we done? We've emailed the previous model and the current model. You see older, older uh, email is the previous model. The method template does not match the locations uh, specified in the model. And also there are a number of non-compliant nodes in this model. Tells you which node it is, what type uh, it was, um, uh, uh, it was written in, in the node, but it says does not comply, right? Compliant source nodes, which one? Lastly, ground SU is compliant with ground. So you will know what um, the nodes comply with. Tsunami complies with tsunami, so on and so forth. And you also have a schematic of the model. Look at that, a GPT, we don't really know what it is, but we have the STS cyclone, roof to, roof to drain, that's a roof node and that's a road node. We have specific images for roof and road. Go back to the second uh, email that we sent, the one that's compliant. Look at that, everything is compliant. The metal template doesn't comply, so you have to download and run that, but everything else is compliant. Compliant, 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 compliant. So as a consultant, you can easily create your compliant MSF, download the metrological template and just run that and then export the MSF from the correct, um, correct model. Now that says it's a GPT node. Where is it? Oh, look at that, gross pollutant traps. Trap, that is the name of the node. It's actually compliant with rock class CDS, but we didn't know we couldn't compare it and it was an Enigma node because um, the name was not a Rockla CDS. Thank you very much and have a great time guys. We are hoping you will enjoy this. Feel free to run it. Please do run it and we're looking forward to uh, maybe helping out if you guys need it. We're looking forward to ensure that um, and provide training for counselors and also um, consultants to make sure that we make lives as easy uh, for everyone as possible. Thank you.